What's up everybody? It's Dylan, or Biddy, and it has been quite some time since my last video. About two and a half years actually, maybe a little more, jeez. Uh, but I have a specific occasion on why I am making this video. Uh, I am going to be doing a team report of the team that I used to get 10th out of over 700 entrants at the Charlotte Regionals that happened this past weekend. Uh, it was quite the event. Uh, I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do. Uh, you can see the teams that I used on screen. It was Tyranitar, Amoongus, Great Tusk, Goldango, Talonflame, and Iron Bundle. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, using this team, uh, and I will go over like why I use specific moves, what spreads I used, and my thoughts behind them. Uh, but for some background context, I went to Orlando Regionals back at the beginning of February. That was my first regional event, and I did not do good at all. I went two and four and then dropped out. I was using a Don Dozo team because I really could not figure out what to use for the life of me before the event as I was like busy with other stuff and didn't have much time to practice. And a buddy of mine, Mezzi, uh, he, he was like, yo, try out this Don Dozo team I'm probably gonna use. And I used it a little bit, and I like I did a little bit, so I was like, you know what, at this point, let's see what happens. And I didn't do well, but it was still a fun time, great, great experience, met a lot of cool people, hung out with some dope friends, and it was, overall it was an awesome experience. And I was like, alright, I'm gonna grind and do better for Charlotte, because I really wanted to go to Charlotte as well. And so the first thing that came to mind is pretty much during the event is a team of the con pretty much the core with Talonflame and Great Tusk. Uh, this team was used. Well, th this core has been pretty popular, and a buddy of mine, Kino, actually used it at Orlando and went six four, I believe, or seven three, I forget. And then more specifically, Justin Karras, who actually is the player that won Charlotte Regional, so shouts to him. Uh, and plus, also like a Jersey buddy of mine, shouts Jersey. Uh, he has been using his team pretty much for the entirety of Series 2. Maybe some little changes here and there. Uh, but seeing them and then seeing him do well in Orlando, I think he got he got top 32 there. So I was like, yeah, I, I want to wanna try this out. But uh, I was not sure if I specifically wanted to use his team. I tried it out a little bit and Gothitel because he used Gothitel on his team. Uh, Pretty much, his Justin Cares' team is Goth has Gothitelle and Fl Fluttermane instead of Amoongus and Goldango on mine. Uh, so I, yeah, I wasn't about Gothitelle, so I put that away, but I did like Tyranitar, uh, Great Tusk, and Talonflame. And then I was uh, looking into results from other tournaments, and I saw a player uh, named Eric Rios. He used pretty much this these six mods at the Oceanic International Championships and got top 16 there. And I was like, ooh, this is interesting. And one of the uh, main things that stuck out for me was Choice Scarf Great Tusk. And I was like, wait a minute, that's pretty cool. Um, so I tried it out, did, did some little tweaks, uh, changed a couple moves here and there from it. And this is what I ultimately got. Uh, but yeah, I went, I went to Charlotte Regionals and ended up, yeah, getting 10th. I had 11 and, an 11 and three record. Uh, it went seven and two day one, and then four and one day two. I'm pretty sure I was like four percent of resistance off from making top eight, which is crazy. I didn't even think I was that close, let alone thought I would have done nearly as well. But uh, yeah, so that's a little background context, and uh, now I'll hop into the specifics with the team and everything else about it. All right, so I have the team up on the screen now and I'm going to be going into the specifics with each and talk about not only how they worked like by itself, but also how they work together with the rest of the team. Uh, so first off is the Great Tusk. It is a Choice Scarf, uh, Adamant, uh, Max Attack, Max Speed, Terra Ground with Headlong, Rush, Earthquake, Close Combat, and Rock Slide. This was, I would say, one of the two MVPs of the team. Uh, Choice Scarf was great. Uh, cho what Choice Scarf does is it allows me to be adamant while also outspeeding Iron Bundle, that a max timid Iron Bundle that isn't boosted. And that was very, very important. Uh, allowed me to get fast rock slides off, which is, you know, always fun. <laughs> and still allowed me to do like solid damage. Not, obviously not like life orb damage, but still like more than like a sash set. And the 
like a yeah a typical like uh, jolly sash set, set. And obviously the Terra Ground just made it even stronger. That came in clutch actually in one specific set because at minus one against a bulky flooded me, it allowed me to outspeed and ground Terra headlong rush to still kill it, even though it was like good amount of HP and defense invested. So it was very, very helpful the entire time. It synergized well pretty much with everyone, Talonflame, Iron Bundle, and Tyranitar mainly. Uh, and I'm, ve I'm very glad uh, it I decided to go about this like this like scarf set because like speed and like speed control was the big factor with a lot of my sets and just my play overall and it was great because of that uh, but yeah pretty much like pretty straightforward because of that um, I either like let it often with like town flame or I, like pretty much it, like all of these guys these three I let it with or I would just have it in the back and like can set up either with like it's like either Iron Bundle or Goldango, and then just bring Great Tusk in the back to clean up. It was pretty useful overall. And then uh, next we got Amoongus. It was Citrus Berry, Regenerator, Dark type with Spore, Rage Powder, Clear Smog, Pollen Puff, mainly defensive invested and a little bit in special defense. Uh, it wasn't really a couch for anything specific. Uh, I just wanted this to be more physically defensive as my Tyranitar is more specially defensive. I'll get into him when I get there. But yeah, this was the mod I actually used the least throughout the uh, event. Uh, it was mainly used as like a check for Dondozo, as you can see, having clear smog is that for that reason. Uh, since I had a feeling that most Dondozos were not going to be Terra Steel, because I saw the number of the, the number of clear smog among is starting to go down, which obviously Terra Steel was the main reason uh, for that. It was because of clear smog. But like even if there was still Terra Dozo, I wasn't the most unconfident because both Great Tusk and Iron Bundle are just good into it. And plus I have like burns with Town Flame and whatnot. I have ways of fighting Don Dozo. It's just Don Dozo is my least comfortable matchup. And I knew there was gonna be a good amount with the rise of like Lemora Don Dozo. And I played against three of them that weekend, losing to uh to two of them. And that was pretty unfortunate. But nonetheless, uh yeah, it really didn't do much. I like the only games I brought it in. I'm pretty sure I lost, and it really didn't do anything. I, like I don't think I sp clicked spore once. Uh, I might have clicked like one or two moves, but yeah, Among Us really didn't do anything, unfortunately. But honestly, that was probably more on me that than um than than, than the Pokemon itself, I'd say. But again, the threat of it alone actually did help. Um. Like some pe I know some people are like hesitant to do certain things because they were worried Amoongus was in the back. Uh, and so yeah, like it, it, that, that alone, like it's just, at times pretty helpful. So sh sh shout outs to you, um, you're a cool guy. Uh, yeah, moving on, we have Assault Vest Tyranitar, uh, Terra Flying, Vox Slide, Terra Blast, Assurance, and Low Kick. And with this EV spread, this is set so he has, hits 107 speed, which is to make sure it outspeeds Dragapult in Tailwind, and more specifically, mainly a non-boosted Iron Bundle. And this was like very important, and I am glad that I did this. It also synergizes with my Goldango, who I'll get to later. Uh, because I'll, I'll just say it now, because Goldango is a uh, one speed point higher, so it also outspeeds Bundle and Dragapult, and the Assurance it was very helpful because it's slower than everyone on this team outside of Moongus, so it's a great. It was a great follow up on uh, natural good defenses along with Assault Vest and in the Sandstorm, but like, it was a special tank, special defensive beast, and. Uh, very glad I decided to go with this set instead of like there are pe people at times more run like max HP Max attack, but I I'm glad that like after talking with others and like I'm wanting to do that concept because honestly town flame was pretty much the main like Center like main centerpiece of wanting to build around like just speed obviously so Keeping that in mind and going about this I was glad um to do this and also it like worked well with great tusk because terrifying which means i could terrifying and dodge great fast great tusk earthquakes and then they would have to focus great tusk down and then i would get follow-up assurances whether it was on switch in like switch ins like anything like it was very helpful um 
yeah, great, very, very great Pokemon, and worked well with the rest of the team. Not too much more to him, so we will go to Iron Bundle. Uh, obviously the fastest, like, natural, I guess, Mon in the format. Uh, well, well b mainly because of, like, Booster. Like, yeah, you like, Choice Scarf Mons, blah, 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 but Booster Energy, Iron Bundle is, was very important. Uh, what, what's different, though, is, at least on the Eric Rios' set, I'm pretty sure he had Protect and not Encore. Or maybe he didn't have Hydro Pump, I forget exactly, but I was like, dang, I kind of like having Icy Wind, Freeze Dry, and Hydro Pump. And I liked having Encore, so I'm like, you know what? Screw Protect. And I just did not have Protect, and honestly, that was probably the best thing for me. Uh, I did not, I really did not see any scenarios where I was like, damn, if I had Protect on Iron Bundle, then I'd be good. Uh, because I, I didn't need it. Encore was a great threat for, like, fake out leads or, uh, people who just protect because they're scared because with the hyper offensive team it's pretty easy to get like a lead early and put your opponent in like a disadvantaged position where they may need to protect the turn or be forced to switch out and obviously if they protect I could encore them so they have to switch out and what was like so when they switch out I could double the other mod and that just allowed me to continue pushing that lead and it was very important in a lot of my sets uh the ice wind speed control of course was vital and much much needed it, it, it helped in scenarios where like there were a couple scenarios where I was like in a rough position and needed to rely on a speed tie where if I beat the opposing iron bundle in icy wind then great tusk will outspeed even boosted iron bundle because its speed will drop by one great tusk then outspeeds and then will, can take out the iron bundle which came in very uh was very helpful in one of my sets to actually make it into day two uh, and of course, Hydro Pump Freeze Dry, big damage. Uh, knock on wood, I did not miss a Hydro Pump a single time the entire weekend. So, yeah, I, I missed a couple. I, I missed the actually vital Icy Wind that actually cost me the set. So that was unfortunate. But hey, what are you gonna do? I got a couple lucky breaks myself. Uh, so yeah, but other than that, typical like spreads, you know, Terra Ghost for dodging fake outs. I, I believe that came in use once, but. I, I'm not, I don't fully actually no not not with a uh, iron bundle, but none, the Terra Ghost did come in handy because it, it allowed me to avoid extreme speeds that would have taken it out from like, either Dragonite or Arcanine, so definitely happy about that. And yeah, like the speed it just only helped with the speed control, especially in Tailwind. The shit like was fast as fuck. So good homie Iron Bundle, appreciate you. Uh, and then we got Talonflame. Uh, Culver Cloak. Uh, I was actually was about to use safety goggles before, but I like just felt more comfortable with Culver Cloak because I was more used to that when practicing, and it just gave me like an extra layer of like comfort on like against Iron Hands leads, allowing me to either burn it or fo force a switch. W which again, like if I could have a really good turn one, then that just like can do everything forward much simpler and allow me to have good control uh but yeah tailwind will is on brave birds T typical set max attack max speed nothing too insane uh will wisps were very important i also i guess i, I guess it's just, i mean i only will with maybe three four pokemon but i did not miss one uh, but yeah, they, they came in handy T and i would run talent flame either in the front or the back with like gold dango or great tusk and depending on like what mons they led and whatnot, I would like have a specific mon in the back because late game tailwinds were just as important, if not even more important than turn one tailwinds. Because there are plenty of scenarios where I wouldn't even need Talonflame as the lead because I got Iron Bundle Icy Winds with Scarf Free Tusk, which that speed alone is like enough. And then like they have to worry about these guys doing mad damage. And then these two come in the back, Talonflame. Uh, Tailwind with Gold Tango, and a lot of times if they lead an opposing Iron Bundle with Booster and switch it out, then that means when it comes back in, my Gold Dango will outspeed a Tailwind, and one Mega Drain will just explode it. And yeah, that was also important. Uh, I probably clicked Taunt like once or twice, but it's it, it's still like reassuring to have it. Just because you don't use a move much doesn't mean you shouldn't have it. The threat of it alone can will influence your opponent's decisions, thus allowing you to like use that to your advantage. So that's a thing to remember. Uh, but yeah, great, great mod, great, 
great centerpiece with everyone else. And then lastly, the actual, I would say the main MVP of the team is Terra Water, bulky, like almost max HP, Goldango with the leftovers. Uh, normal moves make it rain shadow ball, next pop protect, but this was very important. Uh, the 28 speed, again, uh, just like with Tyranitar, like this is 108 speed, Tyranitar is 107, made it so it's outsped by one, and it outsped Dragapult in Tailwind. And this allowed me to, like, have even, like, both Goldango and Tyranitar in Tailwind late game was so important. It allowed me to just quick make it rain to then either assurances or rock slides, depending on the scenario, and they, they just cleaned up so much. And god, this thing is so strong. Make it rain is insane. Uh, the Terra Water uh, with max HP just allowed me to live so much. Allowed me to play mind games with opposing iron bundles because they would have to be like, oh, if he Terra Waters, then Hydro Pump won't do much. But if he doesn't Terra and I click Freeze Dry, it won't do much. So they had to guess with that at times because obviously Gotango is a big threat for iron bundle because of iron bundles pretty low special defense. Uh, so yeah i lived so much i really only got hit by like one grass or electric move the entire weekend weekend and that was from like a that was from the the set i barely lost because icy wind missed from my iron bundle so i got hit by an energy ball from glamora uh when if i hit the icy wind my goldango would have outsped and make it rain would have won me the set but hey what are you gonna do that's pokemon but yeah i loved this thing you are great. Hopefully, you do not fall off in Regulation C, even though you might, because uh, which which one is it? Um, Tinglu lowest special attack. Tinglu will cut this up, cut this down a lot. Uh, you may may need to run this like Spec Steel Terra to like get the damage out of it, but we'll see we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, th this thing I probably brought to almost every game. If not, I did bring it to every game. Uh, there really wasn't like a scenario where like it was. I was scared to have it out. Um, I, like yeah, I may have had to like switch it out at points, but I was still it was still through comfort and not like panic, even in my losses. But nonetheless, uh, great, great, great Pokemon. I don't know why this is three. IVs in attack. Oh no, I do know why, because I had to use three IV in attack, because that was the lowest attack IV I could, I could get through with a four gold dingo in game. So yeah, that makes sense. And same thing with Iron Bundle, right? Yeah, it, I don't like, it was like a one or two, but pretty much the, the stab was the same. Um, didn't really matter much because there really weren't any foul plays. I actually, well, I played one set against the Murkrow that had foul play, but I mean, even if, if I have three IV, it's not good. It's, if, if Murkrow has to click Foul Play into Goldango or Iron Bundles, then they're probably losing the game anyway. Uh, but nonetheless, very, very, very helpful. This won me like most of my sets, late, either, either late game or aggro leads. Um, it worked very well, of course, with Bundle, Town Flame, and just like was mainly a great cleanup Pokemon in the back with Town Flame. That was, that was big for me. And so, yeah, works well with everyone. I was hoping for there would be scenarios where I could, like, have a Moongus out with Goldango that, like, Goldango can stay protected, set up Nasty Plots, use a Moongus as, like, a sponge, then bring Talonflame to, like, clean up. But, again, like I said, Moongus was not really brought much. Um, I really didn't fight any Palafins, honestly. Palafin is also, like, a, was a, an important Pokemon to have a Moongus for as a lot of them have just, are just running water type moves and Terra Water, which means Amoongus could just Rage Powder and tank Palafins for days. Uh, but that this scenario did not come up, but you know what? You still prepare for those kinds of things because you, you won't know that it won't happen until afterwards. So, yeah. Um, yeah, overall, uh, this is the team. Uh, I really enjoyed this using this team and I really enjoyed the format in general. It was a lot of fun. Unfortunate, it's over now. I really wish I could get at least one more regional with this team, or at least, at least some variation. Maybe I would have, I probably would have changed like a Moongus for something else. Uh, I don't know, but it still was a lot of fun. Now we got Regulation C coming up. Uh, maybe I'll post more content uh, regarding Regulation C. I'm gonna try to like stream more because I do want to grind, whether it's like on Showdown or on Card. Uh, I need to figure out what I'm using for Regulation C because I have another regional in about a month and a half. Actually, no, a little under two months in, in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, if you're in the area, you should go check that out. Uh, so, gotta prepare for that. 
but the ruined mons are scary. <laughs> Honestly, they f I feel like they will, they will be changing uh, a good amount of the metagame, and we'll see what happens. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, I don't know you can comment on it, or you follow me on Twitter and Twitch down below. I'll be posting more, streaming more, yada yada. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said, it sucks you can't like really use this team anymore. But, you know, like hopefully you gain some like insight about team building processes out of it. And as a reminder, if I had a piece of advice for newer players, um, the one thing that like I was able to absorb this weekend and realize is that comfort with your team is probably the most important factor, at very least when you're starting out. You don't want to just use a team because it's like great. Like sure, it could have like the best mods in the format and whatnot, but if you aren't comfortable using it, then you're not going to be able to utilize it to its full potential, and then ultimately you'll just like fumble. So being comfortable with your team, so you know like what you should be, who you should be using in all scenarios is so important. Like that, that was the main factor with this team is uh, I against every opponent, I was like, okay, I'm confident in bringing these mods. I, I didn't have to like spend all the time like, oh fuck, what am I going to do? Oh fuck. Except against uh, Gwimora Don Dozos, I had to be like, okay, do I bring a Moongus because I think they're going to bring Don Dozo or do I not bring it because I think they won't? Uh, I didn't, I, I, I played a little, this is an aspect I played a little bit more passive, at least in the first couple Don, Grimora Don Dozos I played, as I did, did bring a Moongus, and it ultimately cost me because they would not bring Grimora Don Dozo, and then they was able, they were just able to play around it well, so, but shout out to those opponents, as well as everyone I played, uh, they were all super homies, the community is great, definitely recommend, like, going to a regional or a local, as they actually just announced, as, like, earlier from me recording this, that, Locals will be coming back. Uh, Premier challenges definitely should check some out in your area. Join some Discord servers, talk to people. Overall, great, great community, great people. And yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching. I think I'm gonna end it off there. Uh, yeah, uh, check out my Twitter, Twitch down below. Leave a comment, yada yada. Maybe I'll try to post some more. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see what happens. But yeah, thank you all for watching and peace.